The Ukrainian capital continues to witness a heavy Russian offensive. Air raid sirens, bombardments and shelling continue. Rising threats of Russian air attacks are endangering attempts to evacuate desperate civilians from encircled towns and cities. Here's a full report. Air raid sirens, gunfire and explosions at dawn. Fighting raged outside Kiev on Saturday and Ukrainian officials said heavy shelling and threats of Russian air attacks were endangering attempted evacuations of desperate civilians from encircled towns and cities. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said Russia was sending in new troops after Ukrainian forces had put 31 of its battalion tactical groups out of action. He said they were Russia's largest army losses in decades. He gave no details and neither statement could be verified. Russian rocket attacks destroyed a Ukrainian airbase and hit an ammunition depot in the Kiev region on Saturday morning. Interfax Ukraine quoted the local mayor as saying, and this is what's left of the village of Bishiv, outside Kiev, after a bombing raid. Most Russian ground forces are about 16 miles from Kiev center, according to Britain's defense ministry. It says Moscow could attack the capital in a few days. The cities of Kharkiv, Cherniv, Sumy and Mariupol remained encircled under heavy Russian shelling, it said. The governor of Cherniv, around 100 miles northeast of Kiev, gave this video update in front of the ruins of its Ukraine hotel, which he said had been hit on Saturday. There is no such hotel anymore, Vyacheslav Shaos says, wiping tears from his eyes. But Ukraine itself still exists and it will prevail. Moscow has denied targeting civilians. Zelensky also said he had spoken to German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and French President Emmanuel Macron about pressuring Russia to release the mayor of the city of Melitopol, Ivan Fedorov, whom Ukraine says was kidnapped on Friday by Russian forces. Russia hasn't commented on his fate. Russia's defense ministry released this video of what it said was its military on the move in Ukraine. Zelensky said his country could not stop fighting, but was upholding a ceasefire around an agreed humanitarian corridor out of the southern port of Mariupol, which has been under an almost two-week siege, and he called on Russia to do the same. Moscow has previously blamed Kiev for failed evacuations. Putin launched the invasion just over two weeks ago in what Moscow calls a special military operation to demilitarize Ukraine. It has been near universally condemned around the world and drawn tough Western sanctions on Russia. As Russian troops continue to inch towards the Ukrainian capital, cities and towns in the Kiev region are now under immense threat of possible air raids by the Russian troops. Erpen is located about 25 kilometers north of Kiev and has been witnessing immense shelling over the last few days. Russian troops have stepped up attacks in the region in an attempt to capture the Ukrainian capital. According to reports, over 4,000 people have already fled Erpen to escape the relentless shelling, while hundreds have shifted to bunkers and community centers to seek safety. Our correspondent Anas Malik went to one of these community centers in Erpen to talk to the refugees seeking safety. The majority seeking shelter in these community centers are elder residents who were unable to flee to other cities to escape the violence. We're inside a community center in Irpin uh, and inside the kitchen, which is serving as a refugee center at this point of time. Uh, and uh, in their kitchen, where mostly you'd see the elderly around, and uh, uh, there are volunteers who are doing duties to ensure that the city or this community center or this refugee center does not run out of food supplies. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.